One of the great things about eye care here in Asia is the strong tradition of early technology adoption here. Patients and doctors in APAC demand effectiveness, and when something performs, they embrace it with open arms. We're here at the LKC booth to talk to two doctors about one device reshaping the retinal diagnostic landscape, the Retival. My name is Emma Rusmayani. I'm a glaucoma surgeon from Jakarta, Indonesia. In my latest research is uh, I'm using a retivo. The main idea is to incorporate the electroretinography examination, comparing with OCT and Humphrey examination to detect glaucoma earlier than what we have right now. The result is quite promising and hopefully in the future it can give more benefit to more patients. What's it like using the retival in the clinic? Retival is quite interesting because it's handheld very easy, especially in Indonesia because examination like OCT and Humphrey, it's not readily accessible to all glaucoma patients. Based on my experience, we can do it in children and I also have done it in patients with nystagmus where the eyes just keep moving. It's not painful and it takes only about less than five minutes. It's very different with the previous electroretinography examination. Do you know any other surgeons or doctors who are using the red eval. Uh, doctors were dealing with neuro-ophthalmology department, dealing with the optic nerve examination, optic nerve pathology. I think future of this retrieval uh, examination is it's very promising. Any patients like really surprised at how easy it is? Sometimes they ask like, is it done yet? Uh, oh, okay, is it, have you done the examination yet? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's done. And then, then, then they just go straight to home. Perfect. Hi, Dr. Dayang. Hi. Open your eyes, break one for me. This is a great equipment. So we're here at the LKC booth at APAO 2023 with Dr. Dayang. Hi, Dr. Dayang. Hi. And we are going to be using the Retival. Now, have you ever used the Retival before? No. When you first look at the device, what do you think? Portable. Yeah. That's what I like the most. Almost weightless. Pretty small. Exactly. I guess the most important thing is, does it work? So let's check it out. Sure. Super comfortable, but now I'm like... Wow, that's nice. Look up. Shit. Open your eyes, break one for me. Thank you. Right, stop. Press. And that's it. It's the first ERG in my entire life. I'm super excited. Done. It's super comfortable, but now I'm like kind of nervous. It's like too easy, right? Like, and you see the patient can blink, yep. so it's not a problem. That was pretty easy. I can take it off. Now I'm Everything nervous. Is perfect. Now, is perfect. it? Perfect. Wow, that's nice. This is a great equipment because it is light, portable, so I can use it in my clinic when I visit other hospitals for consultations. In cases where I need to go for ICU visit, then I can bring it along. It is very useful, I suppose, for patients who are unable to communicate or verbalize the, the response. Now we can get this result. My first time getting it, so yeah. it's nice to have our first time with the ERG right about together. The conventional ERG is very bulky. Yeah. For children, that is very scary. That wasn't scary at all. This could encourage more doctors, especially pediatric doctors, to, to adopt this. And of course, when you get more measurements, then you get exactly. more detection. Exactly. Thanks for stopping by, Dr. Dayan. Sure, thank you so much for having me. With the Retival and ERG, it sounds like we really have a technology that's reliable enough for both the rigors of research and has all the flexibility clinicians really want out of a quick diagnostic tool.